All food is made up of a combination of three nutrients, carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Our bodies need all of these nutrients, but they are processed and used in different ways. Carbohydrates are the sugars and starches in our food. Many foods contain some amount of carbohydrates or a mixture of ingredients that contain carbohydrates. Foods with carbohydrates include grains like bread, pasta, and cereal. Starchy vegetables like potatoes, peas, beans, and corn. Almost all fruits and fruit juices, milk and yogurt, or any foods containing flour or sugar. Carbohydrates have a direct impact on our blood glucose. They are broken down into glucose, which is the type of sugar our cells need for energy. When we eat, the pancreas makes and releases the insulin we need to process this glucose. Insulin helps to get the sugar or glucose from the bloodstream into the cells of the body that need glucose to function. People that live with type 1 diabetes cannot make insulin, so the sugar remains in the bloodstream until they take insulin by shot or from an insulin pump. Once they take insulin, the glucose can get into the body's cells and the blood glucose level goes down. Many people mistakenly think that because people with type 1 diabetes cannot produce insulin, they should avoid carbohydrates or sugar entirely. This is silly. People with diabetes need carbohydrates for energy just like everyone else. They just need insulin to help manage the carbs like a healthy pancreas does for people without diabetes. People with diabetes should eat the same healthy, balanced foods as someone without diabetes. It is important for every human to get a good variety of foods, including fruits and vegetables, whole grains, and sources of protein, such as lean meats, cheeses, beans, or peanut butter. To balance the carbs they eat with insulin, people living with type 1 diabetes or their caretakers need to count all the carbohydrates in every meal and snack they eat to find out how much insulin they need to give. Carbohydrates are measured in grams. For example, a medium-sized apple has around 25 grams of carbohydrates, while a cup of pasta has around 43 grams of carbohydrates. It is important to learn how to read food labels to give the right amount of insulin to cover the carbs. If a person gives too much insulin, they can have a low blood glucose level, or if they do not give enough, the glucose levels can be high. When preparing food for a child with T1D, it's important to consider all of the carbs in the meal. For example, a simple spaghetti will have carbs from both the noodles and the sauce, and something like a sandwich could have carbs in the bread, toppings, and any condiments that are on the sandwich. If you aren't sure about the carb count in a dish, you can use a carb counting book or a website to look up an average carb count for the item. Some carbohydrate sources may bring up glucose levels faster than others. We usually call these simple sugars because the body can take them in and use them right away for energy. Examples of simple sugars include juice, candy, and glucose tabs. These items work great for bringing blood glucose levels up from a low, but too much of them can cause the blood glucose to rise faster than the insulin can balance. Other carbohydrates are referred to as complex because it takes the body a little more work before it can use the energy from the food. Examples of complex carbs include whole grain cereals, bread products, and legumes. These items will bring the blood glucose level up over time, but they aren't as reliable for correcting a low quickly. You may hear people experienced with type 1 diabetes say not all carbs are created equal. This idea generally means that the carbs in a healthy, balanced diet are more stable and filling than a very high-carb diet that consists of lots of sugar and processed food. For example, the carbs from a low-sugar bowl of oatmeal and fruit in the morning for breakfast can lead to more stable blood glucose over time than a high-sugar breakfast cereal or toaster pastries that can cause immediate spikes in the blood glucose level. In the next video, we'll discuss how to find carb counts by reading nutrition facts labels on prepackaged foods.